right, guys, let's review Perfect from 1985, starring John Travolta as Adam and Jamie Lee Curtis as Jesse. And this movie is one of those movies that I've always wanted to see because I really do love the two actors involved, um, especially Jamie Lee Curtis. I want to see all our movies, and I've seen a majority of them. And it's so funny looking back at this movie, watching it in 2019, this movie where... Adam is this guy writing for Rolling Stone, and he does, like, he's writing an article about um, where Jamie Lee Curtis works at this aerobics place, and they fall in love and have a falling out, but then fall in love again, like, like a romantic movie, but the thing I think is interesting is that this movie is such a ch weird, cheaply made romantic movie where, like, it... It honestly just stands on the two leads and not really anything else. It's one of those movies where it's one of those movies where you got two big actors in their time to get butts in the seats. Like it's not trying to be anything more than a romantic movie or like a rom-com like drama. Like it's not trying to be anything more than that. It's it's it really is trying to be just because we have two big leads we are making a movie about them, despite if the story's not good or not. And the story isn't that great in this movie. It's just really, kind of really forgettable. Um, it's really forgettable and basic. And I'm not saying it as in this movie's like the worst thing ever made, because of course it's not. It's not anywhere close. It's just not that good. <laughs> it's just kind of one of those movies where you watch it and you're just like, this is really awkward and weird. But I, but I think it's funny to see these two actors get work that I enjoy. But it's just kind of weird. It's weird because it's kind of an aerobics porn movie where there's like a lot of scenes of Jamie Lee Curtis in very tight Olympic, or I mean very tight um, outfits and John Travolta in short shorts and it's really awkward and they're making really weird like poses that could be interpreted really odd, awkwardly and it's really hilarious in some of the moments. I'm just sitting there like, what? Like, are you serious? Like, it, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting movie because you, it, I know a lot of people, and on online, the consensus for this movie is that it's really bad, and I could see why. But honestly, like these two, the two people involved, Jamie Lee Curtis and John Travolta, are fine in the movie. They're not bad, and I didn't expect them to be bad. I expected them because I'm fans of both of them to enjoy this movie. But the movie is just so forgettable in a lot of ways, besides the weird aerobics porn aspect. But the the story is really forgettable. It's just not very interesting. But but I uh, I don't know. I enjoy I enjoyed it because it was a little memorable. But it was also pretty forgettable. Like if that makes sense. Like it's both half and half for me. Like kind of forgettable and kind of memorable because of the weird porn, but also the really forgettable story. Um, and again, the acting is solid. Like. John Travolta is his usual self, uh, being charming in this movie like he is in his other movies, and Jamie Lee Curtis is very charming too. They both really do try to elevate this material, because this material, again, isn't great. This this movie is not great, and it's really not much with the writing or anything, so it's like, it's again one of those movies that you're going to see it because it's got these two big actors that you enjoy, or I enjoy. So, I... I wouldn't have really cared as much for this if I didn't care for the two main leads, but I did enjoy this because of the two main leads. Um, and the so the movie is again it's weird, and and I don't want to spoil the ending, but the ending like goes on a really weird abrupt note, and then a dance number, and I was just sitting there like, or not a dance number, dancing in the credits, like whenever they're doing aerobics dances, like. It's just very strange, and I just, again, sat there like, you know, like the meme guy, like, huh? Or like, yeah, with the question marks on his head. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> this is very odd and very strange, but it was a little memorable. It, it was a little memorable in the weird aerobics porn thing, and also these actors were fine, but the story is just forgettable and lame. So, this is a weird mixed bag, because I didn't mind this movie. It's not good, but I didn't mind it. I thought it was kind of pseudo entertaining because of the weird aspects of it. But it's not one I'll really rewatch again. But I did. I'm glad I saw it. I don't. I don't. I didn't hate this movie. I just thought it wasn't that good. But it had a couple okay things about it that were memorable, and the actors are charming in it. So 
So yeah, I thought that this one was a weird like mix of like forgettable and memorable at the same time. So so yeah, this was a very weird watch. So that's my review on Perfect from 1985. Um, tell me down below if anybody has seen this movie and if you like it or dislike it. I really want to know what actual people think. Like, I saw critics didn't like it. But I want to know what people think about this movie. Like, real people. Like, in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. So, yeah, that's Perfect. And, um... Subscribe to my channel if you guys like this. I've got other videos coming up uh, every week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching.